What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can install Android's KitKat 4.4 onto a computer or a virtual machine. Uh, I'm going to be installing it on a virtual machine but it'll be the same process if you create a bootable uh, USB flash drive or a bootable CD and then you'd install it uh, just exactly the same way okay. So I'm going to be doing this on a virtual box uh, i.e. virtual box software and you can use it to install onto an actual computer, laptop, um, or whatever you like. Anyway, so let's get started. So what we need to do here is get our Android KitKat. And as you can see, I'm going to put the link in the description for you. You can download the Android KitKat version here. And once you've got that ISO downloaded, you can then create a bootable uh, USB flash drive, or you can create a bootable DVD, and then install from that onto your computer or onto an old laptop or whatever you want to do and if that's not the case and you want to install it onto a virtual box then I'll show you how to do that uh, today so it's pretty straightforward so first off you need to download your virtual box software and you can get that from uh, the website that I'll put in the uh, description there I'll put a link in the description so you can download this now what this does if you haven't seen VirtualBox before is it allows you to run operating systems inside an operating system so you can see I'm running Windows 7 here and I've got VirtualBox software installed and that's going to allow me to install other operating systems whilst I'm at the desktop here so first off what we need to do is click on new and we're going to create a brand new operating system to be installed so first up I'm just going to quickly put in there the KitKat version that we've got so we've got uh, Android 4.4 KitKat that's what I'm going to name it and you can see here it's selected Solaris I'm going to select Linux and here we can uh, just put inside here that'll do and then we're going to go next and this is your memory size so just remember guys if you've depending on how much memory you got on the system is this is how much memory you're going to allocate for the software to run so I would say just go to where the green line is just before the green line runs out don't go into the red here because your system will start becoming unstable okay you can allocate it smaller amounts if you wish it's entirely up to you I'm going to go next here uh, creating a virtual hard drive now is okay that's fine and leaving this on VDI that is fine also I'm going to go next and uh, dynamically allocated what that's going to do is allow it to expand as the operating system grows that's fine so we're going to say yes and continue there and also here you can see the R drive space that it wants to allocate for it so you can see it's at four gigabytes I'm just going to ramp that up a little bit um, to around about say 10 that will do you can put it wherever you like you put more if you if you want it's entirely up to you we're just going to say 10 gigabytes here push create and that's now created now we've got that created we can now click on start now once we click on start uh, it's going to ask us for the actual device to boot from so we need to click on this here choose a virtual optical disk file and this is going to be our ISO file so I'm going to locate my ISO file I've got it on my desktop so as you can see now we have uh, allocated the ISO file here Android 4.4 KitKat.ISO and now we can click on start and this will start the process of installing KitKat on there now what we want to do here is we want to click on the screen here and then we want to don't show this message again and click capture and now we can use the cursor keys on the keyboard to come down to where it says installation install Android times 86 to the hard disk push enter this will start to install let me just get close these off here we don't need those at the second now we need to create and modify partitions so we're going to click OK next we're going to go to new we want to create a new partition here push enter and then we're going to make this one a primary partition and as you can see here that's uh, fine push enter again on the keyboard and now you can see we have it here what we want to do next is we want to go to where it says right so use your cursor keys on your keyboard to 
push that all the way to where it says right to push enter and now it's going to ask you do you want to write to that partition table either type yes or no we're going to say yes obviously because we want to install that to there so what we want to do next is uh, we're going to click on quit here and once we click on quit we can now see we have SDA1 Linux so we're going to push enter on that one and click OK now we want to come down to where it says ext3 we're going to click on that and push enter I'm going to say yes to this and now we want to do you want to install grub I'm going to say yes and we also want to say yes for that as well and now it's just going to start to write this to the drive now we can power off our machine it's going to power off this once we've powered this off what we need to do here now is we need to go to settings and where it says storage here you can see it's going to be boot into this ISO file and we don't want that we want it to boot to the actual uh, VDI file so what we're going to do here is just we're going to remove this and then click OK and now we can click start and it will boot to the hard drive and there we go we're just going to push enter at the top here this will then start to load up okay so now we need to select what language and stuff we want here I'm gonna use my cursor keys here and just push play okay so now it wants us to check our network now we're not on a Wi-Fi network here so we're on a, a, an Ethernet cable so I'm gonna skip this part here so we don't have to worry about this and also I'm going to just say uh, do you have a Google account we'll set this up later on not now and we're going to click on next and now we need to put in our name that'll do go next and next there and then click OK here and there we have it we can see we have our tablet working here well it's not a tablet it's <laughs> it's, uh, it's like a tablet you just use the swipe buttons backwards and forwards with your mouse and then you've got it installed on the system you can see it looks like a tablet uh, but it's not as on the actual virtual box here and also you could have this installed onto an old machine if you wanted to uh, if that's what you wanted to do now again you you can also click on uh, the internet here if you wanted to try the internet so if you want to click on the internet you can click on the internet and you can see we have internet access here so as you can see we have the internet here we can type in here where we like and we should have internet access as you can see here so that's basically how you can install KitKat 4.4 onto a virtual machine or you can install that onto a computer or an old uh, laptop or whatever you've got there and it will work just fine so anyway i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date on upload new videos also if you've got any problems with computers you can always head over to my forums and post your questions or your problems over there and we'll do our best to help you out so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your continued support and i shall see you again in the next video Bye for now.